At the sound of his son's voice, Guylan shifted his eyes. He could not move his head and searched for his sons. His gaze found them, rested on them. Take care, her mother, he managed to whisper. A froth of blood coated his lips. Caramon sobbed and covered his face with his hand. We will, father, Raceland promised. Hello and welcome to all the men and women of the West. I'm Joe. Today's video is a few days late and I had promised you guys I do the Urgot family tree, but instead, because of Mother's Day, I decided that I'm going to put that off by a week, sorry, and focus on the first epic character history of Dragonlance in this channel's history. Today's topic will be Rosamund Aelin, or Rosamund Magier. Rosamund was born and raised in Solas. She married a roguish mercenary by the name of Gregor Uth Matar, and in 318 would have a daughter named Kitiara Uth Matar. After Gregor left her, she would marry again, this time to Gylan Magier, and gave birth to two sons in the year 326 to 10 pound Caramon Magier and the sickly Raislin Magier. It was believed Raislin would not live very long. But his sister Kitiara Uth Matar would save him. Rosamond was known to have had one sister named Quivera Aelin, and she was known to have been a rather nervous wretch of a woman who would help to take care of her sister around 334 AC. But Rosamond was primarily known for her strange trances and weird dreams and visions. So that by the time she gave birth to Caramon and Raislin, she was chronically in bed with a fever and all sorts of possible ills. It's very likely that as we spoke of in our metaphysical video with Raislin, that's during one of these visions when Paladin made contact with Raislin in her womb. That said, Rosamond was known to have been a good cook and to have truly cared for her children. She was also blonde and very honest and even foolish at times, so that she was easy prey, as said in her youth, for Gregor and later for the widow Judith. It's this last one who would really take advantage of poor Rosamond. She would cast a pall over the relationship she shared with her family, in particular, Raislin. Gylan Magier had never truly warmed up to her, being a simple man and a fairly traditional one. While pleased to see his wife in good health again, he could not reconcile himself deep down to widow Judith, whom he mistrusted. As to Raislin, he shared his father's innate mistrust of the widow Judith, who in turn hated Raislin. And being half deranged, taken in by widow Judith, despite her fierce love for her sons, in particular Raislin, who had always had a special bond with her, she would give in to increasing religious mania until Gylon Magier would have an accident when a tree fell on him. This was when the twins were 16 years old. Rosamond would go into another trance and would never awaken from this one, so that she perished of starvation in the year 342 AC. We should not doubt the love Rosamond truly bore for her son. And while this might seem like a heavy topic for Mother's Day, we must bear in mind the great devotion that her and her son Raceland shared towards each other. This loss would weigh over him for the rest of his life, and it would have quite the effect also upon her other children. As for Kitsiara, she was the one who was most damaged by her father's abandonment, as Gregor had never truly cared about Kitsiara, and Kitsiara clung to the memory of him and came to detest Rosamond and blame her. Though this is rather sad, the fact is Rosamond's trances had alienated her from her two more boisterous children, with her more contemplative, intelligent son more drawn to out of pity towards her. And so it was that pity for her was the one trait that united Gylan and Raceland. We should remember the tale of Rosamond as oftentimes, as in time, much as we may want otherwise, and may remember our mothers as great maternal strong figures, there will come a time when they grow old and they need those of us of the younger generation to care and nurture for them. And we should not shirk from that duty as Kitsiara had, but rather embrace it as even Karaman and as Raceland certainly did. Now, if you hopefully if you enjoyed this video, you'll the subscribe button, a similar gift of love if you enjoyed this video, as subscribing certainly helps grow the channel. And we're trying to push for a thousand in order to start live streaming. And we need your help to do it. So until next time, take care. And we will be doing the Urgot family tree. I promise.